Hey there, I'm Marco, the seasonal interpretive ranger here at the beautiful Warriors Path State Park. Now the pristine nature of this park can be partly a credit to the number of vast relationships and successful relationships that are present all throughout here. Everything from the plants to the animals to the fungus that is all among us. And today, what I really want to focus on are some of these key relationships. And whenever we talk about relationships, you really can't go anywhere without stopping and taking a closer look at the mushrooms. Now mushrooms have a very wide distribution and can be found everywhere from North America to Africa to Asia, all throughout the world and in all sorts of different climates. Now because of that, these fungal friends and these fungal networks and relationships can be present everywhere, not just in our state park here, but also in your backyard. So how about we take a closer dive in and a deeper dive in and let's go see what we can find. Now, many of our relationships when it comes to mushrooms can be broken down into two categories, your saprobic mushrooms and your more mycorrhizal mushrooms. Now, the difference between the two is your saprobic mushrooms, kind of with that root word sap, goes along with getting their energy directly from decaying wood, leaf litter, and similar materials. Saprobic species such as our false turkey tails, violet polypores, and actual turkey tails are all great examples of different mushrooms that rely on decaying wood such as this, decaying leaf litter, and other fallen trees as a great resource for their food and energy. Forest debris such as this log right here is a great example of a host and a place that you would find many of our saprobic species of mushrooms. Our false turkey tail here, for example, is a great species to show how they slowly will break down our leaf litter as well as the logs that may have fallen on the forest floor. It helps keep our park clean as well as making sure the energy that is in the forest stays in the forest and benefits everybody that's in there. Often when talking about saprobic mushrooms, they go hand in hand with talking about their role in decaying logs and often on dead dying trees. Now, when we move to mycorrhizal mushrooms, we really get to focus in on their key relationships and these mutual benefits that can be formed between mushrooms and the trees around them and other plants too. Mycorrhizal relationships among mushrooms is one of the most important features in their success. For instance, the red rushula here, or the common brittle gill, has a very important and very prominent friendship slash relationship with species of trees such as this one right here our beech tree. Many common trees that mushrooms will form these mutual relationships with are everything from your beech trees, your oak trees, and many of your conifers. Now this relationship is so important to the mushrooms because they lack what's called a chlorophyll. Now that pigment is what allows plants to obtain energy from the sun in order to make their own food. Now these mushrooms here, they have what's called mycelium that'll span all throughout this forest floor to obtain nutrients. And what they'll do is they'll obtain all these nutrients and this extra water, this nitrogen, this phosphorus, to help, help out the tree. And in return, the tree will use all of its leaves and its roots itself to obtain more water and obtain the energy that, that it can get from the sun, the food from the sun that it then passes to the mushrooms. So then they just pass this great relationship back and forth where they both can benefit and then have a successful forest. Being a food source to many is one of the phenomenal and amazing things that go right hand in hand with being a mushroom. Now these mushrooms can feed everything from humans, to ants, to slugs, to turtles, anything you can imagine. And in fact, if we train our eyes, we can better understand who's been here as well as maybe track and identify what kind of thing ate right here off this mushroom. For instance, if we saw a perfect little triangle cutout out of this mushroom, it might have been our friend, the box turtle. But in fact, if there was a really large, deep gouge in it, it might have been a slug snacking on there and even an ant dug in there. What about if it was trimmed right along the edge? Well, that's one of our furry little friends, maybe the squirrel or the chipmunk. So by looking at mushrooms, you can really learn all sorts of things about our environment. Thank you all so much for coming on this great walk through our woods together. We're able to see all sorts of key relationships and important jobs that mushrooms play right here in our forests. Everybody in nature has an important job. 
whether it's saprobic mushrooms and their key role in recycling all of the energy and the force, putting it right back into the ground from decaying matter, or whether it's the mycorrhizal mushrooms forming, forming symbiotic relationships with other trees and plants in the area, or whether it's us as humans whose job it is to preserve and protect the great nature that's around us. We can all come together to make it a more successful earth as one. So next time you're out taking a walk through your woods, how about you take a stop and say hey to your fungal friends.